In this video, I'm going to show you a crazy adjustment that you can do out of the nickel 335 wide defense. You can do this actually out of any defense in the game, but it's a concept that you can use to stop the wheel route, in particularly something that you can really use that's going to be very helpful against the running back wheel um, out of the gun bunch offense to the running back or the tight end wheel, of course, to the tight end. We're going to give you some tips today to shut down the wheel route. Now, the wheel route, in my opinion, is the most powerful route in Madden. It's the best route this year by far. You can throw it against man, you can throw it against zone, you can throw it against match, you can throw it against blitz, you can throw it against anything. And this defense is designed to help you shut that down. Now, if you're watching this video and you've not picked up my Patreon membership, I would really, really encourage you to do that because that's where we put our best material. It's also where we put all of our eBooks. So by becoming a Patreon member, you're gonna get access to over 20 offensive and defensive guides. In addition to that, we also give you updates every single week um, with more resources to help you get better at this game. So if you wanna sign up for that, link is in the description. And it's only 10 bucks to sign up, get you access to everything. But let's talk today about the wheel route. And we're gonna open up by taking a look at the play verticals. And I want to show my zone drop. So as you can see here, I just have my hook curls on five. That's really the only adjustment I'm making. Um, just put your hook curls on five. That's literally it. And then what you want to do in your audibles, if you if you don't want to have to adjust anything, would be to go to Mike Blitz. Instead of utilizing Mike Blitz three, we're actually going to utilize Cover Three Buzz. And you'll see that what that does is it puts the safety in a hook curl. Now. Um, should come back out and come out in the cover three. And what you'll see is it puts this safety right here in a hook curl and it puts this linebacker in a hook curl. So first things first, we're gonna show this, um, how this plays against the vertical to the tight end. Make sure you pass commit on offense. And what you should see is if you take a look at this hook curl, it kind of plays, it honestly kind of plays a little bit too much to the right. I'm gonna show you a hot routed curl flat in just a second or a hot routed hook curl in just a second. But if you watch the way the zone plays, it's kind of kind of crazy how the, the zone, um, to be honest, kind of has a mind of its own. And it does the same thing to the running back side. So uh, let me give you an example of this out of the nickel normal. And again, you can do this with your hot routes and I'll show that in just a second. But I wanna show you another coverage really quickly here. Um, it's the same basic principle. It's just going to be to the opposite side. And that is the cover uh, three buzz. Let me see if I can find it here. Cover three buzz. Um, cover three buzz match. I think I need the cover three match. Three buzz match week, which is not in this playbook, which is fine. Um, that's fine. We'll just we'll just literally create it then. So literally, and that's what I normally do anyway. So anyway, just Mike Blitz three. You see that I have this. Um, so in Mike Blitz three, let me actually reset that real quick. Let me, let me put Mike Blitz 3 back in to just to show you this concept. So, and I'll just use it with Cover 4 Show 2. So we'll put in Cover 3 Buzz, and then we'll also put in Mike Blitz 3, okay? So what you're going to do with this is you're just going to audible to Mike Blitz 3. Now, you can do this from 335 wide or 335 normal to 335 wide. It really honestly doesn't matter to me. But the biggest key with this is we're going to want to have a hook curl right here. And if you watch how this plays, if I wheel the running back, watch the hook curl. He's literally going to run right to it and cover it with inside positioning um, for whatever reason. It's honestly kind of random. It doesn't, it's weird to me that this uh, works as good as it does, but it's something that I feel like I've not talked about all year long. Um, and it's something that I feel like is much overdue. So literally just hook curl this guy. That's it. And then all you have to do on the back side of this, we're going to spy these linemen just to get them out of the way. But I want you to notice how good this hook curl when there's no other zone over there, you see that it plays it really well. Now I can click on it, pick that, I'm right there. It's a tough throw, okay? Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is I'm gonna give you kind of a, a little comparison uh, game here. So let, let me show you what it looks like if I were to man up the running back. So this is man coverage on the running back. Notice how the running back has inside position. He actually dropped that, but notice how the running back has inside position on that player. It makes it means that essentially the running back's gonna have a definitely a leverage advantage. You don't get that when you use the the five yard hook curl, um, especially when the five yard hook curl is kind of by itself, if you will. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you something else with this. We'll come out in three through five normal. But the other thing that I want to show you with this is you can pair this 
with a curl flat. So we're gonna curl flat here and hook curl here. This curl flat is gonna stop the out route or the short route and then the hook curl should stop the wheel. So you're gonna have inside out leverage on the wheel or any route to the running back for that matter. And what you should see here is you see, look at that throw. That's really good defense on the wheel. And it to me, this, this is a huge help um, in terms of defending bunch and any formation like it because the hook curl also, if you pay attention here, will actually do some crazy stuff um, if we actually take it off of default, off of five. And I'll show that real quick too. If you take the hook curl off of five and you just have it on default, sometimes, and that doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it will still basically do the same thing. And it can also help with match coverage. So I'm going to put the curl flat. I'm going to put the hook curl over here. And this combination of zones can be very helpful. So wheel route the back. And what you'll see is watch this hook curl. Watch him carry the crosser literally all the way across the formation. So the hook curl to me might be the most underestimated um, zone in this game. If you drop it at five, it does a decent job at stopping wheels. If you don't drop it at five, let's say, and you're just trying to stop verticals, then as you can see, if I just go to the hook curl um, to the safety and the purple there, this is not terrible. Now the wheel route is probably there for me. As you can see, I can throw it right there. But now, now and that's where the chess match comes in, right? But again, what we can also do is on this other side, take this safety and put him in a hook curl. And then just to illustrate what we're trying to show here, we're gonna put this guy into a inside third, just to kind of roll the coverage this direction. And then we're going to put the purple zone over there. Now, don't worry too much about the backside. Uh, we'll come back to that in just a second, but I want, you, I want you to now take a look at the tight end route, okay? So again, I'm just pass committing. And what you'll notice with the hook curl is he's going to come in because of the um, because of the of the crossing route. Okay, he comes inside because the crossing route kind of carries him uh, inside, if you will. So let's put him back at five, and I want to show you how he reacts now. And I'm going to give you a couple of other suggestions with this that I think will be very helpful. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run that again. We're just going to roll the coverage. Uh, just like this throw some purples out there and then in this case we could take this guy and man him up on the on this player but I'm not too worried about that we could also take this guy and put him in a mid read um, but just for illustration purposes we're just gonna leave him there and then we have verts now watch the tight end on the right if I low ball this you see right there it's kind of a tighter throw than it was um, beforehand the other thing that I want you to notice though is that the hook curl against a trips formation does not always perform best. It's actually the hook curl, if you think about it, is best against a double set. So what we can do is we can hook curl McCordy, purple Bledsoe, and then really important, we can actually take Davis and put him in a vertical hook. And if you know anything about vertical hooks uh, this year, they do a decent job with that low ball to the tight end. Um, now we would probably wanna put that to the nickel corner, which I'll show that real quick. But that's something else that you can kind of do to create this coverage. But literally just we're going to vertical hook the slot corner, purple both linebackers, and put the out other corner on the left side in a hook curl. And then really all you should have to use her on this play is the crosser. And what you'll see is the vertical hook flows out into that area. And that's a tough throw. I mean, you can't you can't. You can't bank on that. I mean, you, you, you've got pretty decent uh, positioning. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could, you know, just man the tight end up. That does help some. Um, but again, I like this coverage. And then now I, I know that I don't have to worry about the left side of the field. So I can focus energy over here. So I can kind of snap the ball, kind of lurk to the right, kind of, a, and then they're going to immediately want to throw to the left because they've labbed this up, right? But anyways, let me show it to you one more time. Here's the tight end, low ball, and you see it's right in that area. You've got a defender that's kind of going into the general spot um, that they're going to be trying to hit you with with this with this route. Now, it's not just this formation that this can be helpful against. It can also be helpful against gun-tight slots, um, the four verticals. And really what you want to do with this is, again, if you take a look at your coverage, you want your hook curl to be on this weak side of the cover three. The reason why that's helpful is because you want 
that curl flat and that hook curl and you really don't want a three receiver set it's again hook curls are best to a two receiver side vertical hooks by rule are best to a three receiver side so what you're going to see right here is the flat to the right this hook curl should do a little bit better of a job at taking it away and then that third will also be a little bit more reactive to the wheel just by very nature of the defense um, another thing that you could easily do is you could shade down um, that can be helpful just for um, zone integrity so i'll show that real quick so this is a shaded down hook curl even though he's in a depth but i just thought it was really interesting how these hook curls still match a lot out of a five yard depth here i forgot to put a purple out there so obviously it's gonna be wide open but that's the idea or that's the the, the piece now the cool part also that i want to just really quickly point out we did a massive and i mean a massive breakdown on the nickel normal defense uh, out of the san francisco playbook and what's interesting about the nickel normal defense is that the san francisco playbook has uh, a cover three match play that you won't find in 46. It has a cover three um, buzz match like this, but it also has a cover three buzz match weak. And the reason that the major difference is where the hook curl is on the field. So like right here, you're going to notice that in this example, the hook curl is to the slot. If I flip this play, you'll see now it's to the safety on the backside. So those are just some things to keep in mind. And, and again, um, I'm not saying run cover three match every play. I'm just saying give the hook curl a try and try to learn some of the basic principles you'll find that they match really good um even even in situations where you might not be in this situation so another thing that you might consider and this is something that i like to do is run a cover four match coverage like this so this is a match um a cover four quarters if you will and we're going to take mccordy and put him in a hook curl and now we got this guy into a purple okay now this backside guy, this deep half is probably one of the best and most underrated zones in the game for defending that number one receiver one-on-one. -on -one. We've got him pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. But what you'll see is this hook curl. Watch what it does. It hangs out in the middle field, kind of robs over the middle. And in certain situations, it actually matches onto the crosser like we were showing you out of the cover three defense in the principle. So this is something that you might want to consider just messing around with a little bit more. I just wanted to draw a little bit of attention to the hook curl, not necessarily just the, the way that it matches crossers, but if you put it at five yards, there are formations, especially like, a, let me show you one last thing with this. Sometimes it does change based off, again, what play you come out in. Sometimes it changes based off of uh, what your formation is. Like if you have a four down lineman, for example, like a big nickel over G um, versus if you don't have something like that. And we'll show that real quickly here. And all I wanted to take a look at with you guys is we'll just take a look at just a basic, um, again, this is just this basic concept. We're not going to put any deep blues on the field just to illustrate these hook curls and what they can do. Actually, I'm sorry. I've been no over G. I forgot I have to put the slot cornerback package on here. Um, but we're not going to put any adjustments on this. We're just going to come out and and live with the, live with it for right now just to teach the principle. And then, again, you can kind of adapt this as you want. But, like, a good concept could be deep half your outside corners, hook curl your inside guys, take your middle guy, put him in a third, and then put this guy in a purple. Something like this. It'll cover three invert kind of style of defense. But you get the two hook curls from the safeties. And they literally, I'm telling you, they will freaking lurk these wheels. And they sit in spots that most people don't see consistently. And they throw a lot of picks. And they'll kind of bait you into throwing these interceptions. And that's what, um, anyway, that's, that's the basic idea of the hook curl. And how you can add this to your defense. Again, it might not be on both sides maybe you say okay i know that he's going to cover the wheel to the left i'm going to go cover the wheel to the right or i'm going to have a vert hook over there cross man or whatever you want to do to try to stop it um but with this it gives you just another piece um in your defense in your defense so like right in here you look to the right you see it doesn't do a great job of covering it primarily because of the crosser now if that crosser is not there you'll notice that that hook curl will do a much better job and i'll show that real quickly and again this is where i'm coming back to my my big kind of thesis of this or whatever is that this is much better to the two wide right receiver side or the short side of the field than it is, or not short side, but to the, the, the passing weakness, which in this case would be this back side of the field. But anyways, let's just take a look at this. And you'll see here's the vertical streak. Watch that. Look that hooker. Look where it's at. So just mess with that a little bit. Um, you'll notice that five or even 10-yard hook curls 
I'll show you the 10 yard one real quick and then we'll jump out of the video. But this is just something that you can mess with. And like I said, you can do this out of anything. It doesn't have to be three through five wide. It doesn't have to be um, big nickel. They're not really, I mean, they are a little different, but they're really not that much different, okay? But anyway, here is a 10 yard uh, hook curl out of that same basic principle with a little cover three invert style. Um, which is not a bad principle by the way but if you watch, watch the left side you'll see that hook curl kind of sits right there where they're going to throw that low ball and then the same thing on the right or on the other side of the field you're going to see that we're going to get this thing uh, to just sit in a really unique little position uh, on the field and again you can do this out of um, you can do this out of 10 yard hook curls you can also do this out of the other ones but notice it gets a little sucked in on this one right here so that's the big you know, thing with the deep halves invert in. So those are just some really good tips, I think, with the hook curl. The biggest thing is please understand that it's one of those zones most people don't use. It's one of those adjustments most people don't do. And so you can just by very nature of that alone be in a position where it's going to play things that you just might not be expecting. And I have found that this is probably one of the most underrated zones in this game because of that reality that I just said. Now, again, Madden is a grid-based game, so a lot of this has to do with the numbers and where the routes are cutting. Um, let me give you a quick example. I'm gonna flip my play, and you're gonna notice that we're gonna get a little bit of a different reaction based on the grid. You see here on the left, that hook curl plays that a lot better than it did on the opposite side. Why? Because of the grid. So it's, it's one of those things that just mess with, I think a hook curl, to the field or to the passing weakness is very advantageous. Just be careful a little bit with that. Um, one thing or one last piece here that I would I want to leave you with: use the vertical hook too. So maybe your hook curl is your is your is this side of the field, and then your vertical hook is the other side, right? So it may look something like like this, for example. Okay, this is a pretty dang good defense for verts. Watch the vertical hook. Watch him sit right in the lane. And again, he's a little bit too far inside, but that's the basic gist of it, okay? So try out vertical hooks and hook curls, both of those together, mess with those, mess with some of the zone drops, and I guarantee you that you're gonna be having some success against, uh, the, against the wheel route. My advice, try them at five yards, try them out at five yards, try them shaded down. All those things are really good, in my opinion. Shaded down hook curls are really good for wheels. And then also, like I said, five yard hook curls are really good for wheel routes, especially wheel routes to the running back. Thanks for watching the video. And if you wanna check out my full defensive ebook and all that stuff that I have in there in the Patreon, over 20 ebooks, hundreds of videos, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time.